What's happening, everybody? This is the shift once again. ATO Ace the Outsider. Sure, amazing. Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley. Triple <laughs> hey, yeah. So, we got our next guest. It's Miss Maya by name. Hello. Songstress, writer, uh, RB performer, <laughs> pop sensation, diva, all that. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, fast five. Superpower. If you have one, just any superpower. <clears throat> Fly. Why? What's the most annoying thing that your mom does that you secretly like? Not today. My mom's a queen. If she, I can't say anything about that. Mm. Nope. Queen says Not today. I'm not saying anything bad about my mom. <laughs> I'm going to segue away from that. What's your favorite meal? I'm going to do uh, Alfredo. I like you. <laughs> You put like first pepper in your outfit? Yes. Ooh. Yes. You know, I, put I put that on everything. Eggs, yeah. chicken, toast. Everything. Everything. Right. Something you want. I need a little bit spicy. The <laughs> water. <laughs> All right, and the last question. Yeah. Would you want to come back on the show? The show? Absolutely. Word. Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. We're going to have fun. We're having fun already. Let's keep it rolling. All right. So, Maya by name. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you got started with the name Maya by name. Uh, well, my by name, uh, it was my Instagram handle for about a year, and I went to release my music um, under Maya, and there were millions of Mayas <laughs> around the world. So I emailed iTunes, and I was like, well, how do I get my music back under my name? And they're like, change your name. So um, I just said, my Instagram handle was already kind of catching on with people. I would walk into place, my name. And I was like, eh, it's perfect. So I just submitted it that way, and that's kind of how I released that. Um, but yeah, I just started writing, um, I started writing young, maybe like 11 or 12, but um, as soon as I graduated high school, I uh, went right to the studio and did my first project, so, yeah. Oh, so, with, with that being the case, did you like do variety shows, were you in a lot of talent shows coming up as a kid? Or? Um, I did a lot of like things involved at school, so you know, chorus, choir, solo, nights where you come and you sing like a cover song. Um, I did all the plays and musicals, so any, any way that I could get involved <laughs> in school, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I did those two school, yeah. musical theater. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. Ooh, okay, so when did you decide, you know what, I love singing, this is what I want to do, this is what I want my career to be? Um, I think freshman year was when I sat my parents down and I said, I'm not going to school. I'm going to try to go full force into this after I graduate. So I knew really early that there was nothing else I really wanted to do. Um, I mean, I, you know, I always wanted to be an FBI agent, but <laughs> I didn't see myself going to school for it, you know, but it was, I mean, I've had other interests, but music was like. You're gonna do this. I can't imagine like in riot gear kicking down the door. It's like, where's the cocaine? You know what? It's like you got a bad day. Never know. Just do the sitting on the road, like, find my album. That should be your album cover. They shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? We gotta coin that. We gotta make sure, like, we certify it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it right. Somebody already stealing intellectual property after we. Right now. Right now. Somebody in this room. Well, look, my. How did you? go straight from high school to record? Um, well, uh, in high school, I, like junior and senior year, I was already writing songs on guitar. So I was already kind of writing my own music and um, I had friends that had graduated uh, ahead of me and uh, one of them was doing a show at a local studio and one of the bands dropped out. So he called me and he was like, hey, you want to perform some of your original music? Um, and I said, sure. So I went there and I played a couple songs and the guy that owned the studio was like, you've got to record here. So that was kind of my first studio I ever recorded at. Um, blessing of my parents to help me uh, afford the first project, um, which was really amazing. But uh, yeah, so I, that's how I first met local musicians who helped me on the project as well. So, so have you ever had any formal training or is this all just got to get a <laughs> um, The last couple years I've had training, but um, when I first started, no, I just, I was like, I like to sing. <laughs> Watching other artists that inspire me that kind of help me out. I want to hit that note. 
So we gonna take that. So who inspires you? <laughs> Earlier. Um, a lot of vocally, a lot of people. Um, but I think uh, performance-wise, uh, my mains are like Michael Jackson and Prince and Beyonce. People that just give the ultimate show. Because um, that's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted the, you know, the lights, camera, action. It's a really, really big performance. I feel like when you go to a show, the goal is to be entertained. If I'm standing here, my voice might be nice and everything, yeah. but I want you to really be like, wow, holy, you know. So, um, yeah, so those are my top three, I guess. <laughs> from artists that I listened to. Um, it was something that I also felt like, you know, artists all over, I do it, you know, we all write about relationships a lot. You know, certain tired or sad or anything. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, like different, different relationships. So I think I wanted to start writing about things that also had a, had a different uh, backstory to the song, you know? Um, and I think as a young woman, like I was, I was hoping that I would hear in music something that would make me go, Okay, I know I'm strong. You know, someone someone else believes in me outside of my family. You know, the people that I'm listening to, they believe that I that I can do this. And um, so I wanted to make songs that would empower younger women too, the way that I like to be empowered too. So. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Should we get into the topic of like some singles? Because you got a couple sure. coming out right now, right? I do. Music video that our homie Justin was in. I, I saw that. Yeah. 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 Uh, Raymond and Rose Puddles. Um, the the way that I'm crafting this third project is in a story. So uh, Raymond is the first. Uh, chapter of the story, which is heartbreak, and so the story is following, going from heartbreak or maybe just a negative situation, a bad friendship, whatever you want to, you know, put there, and coming to the point of regaining your self-love after losing yourself in something else. So it's gonna go from Raymond Rose Petals, which is the second single, is kind of um, I'm good on my own. You know, I, I went through that. It was really, it was really sad. It sucked, but. I'm good, you know, and then so the rest of the project just it, like increasingly gets happier. Um, so more up temples are on the way. <laughs> but I definitely Raymond was like something that I just felt like I needed to write. It was something that was um, it was a situation that happened to me, and I was like I have to get this out. And I heard this beat. And I was like, oh my god! So uh, I wrote it, and I knew I had to shoot the video that way. It kind of came to me, and I was like, okay, we're gonna do it. So that was my first single. A lot of people were surprised, but um, they were like, oh, okay. Uh, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little feisty, but it was so, fun. You got fun. The, in the video, Raymond, right? Yeah. You got the young boy tied up in the yes, chair, and he's like, the chair. fear on his face. <laughs> Don't kill me, y'all. It was in a dark area. The goal was just yeah. to to scare him. Right. A lot of people were like, why didn't you murder him? This is not the kind of video. <laughs> I wouldn't do that in a music video, but yeah. So. Now, yeah. It's not to your CIA. <laughs> right. 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 Well, what's your favorite track from this new project? Oh, okay. How about two part question? Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Two part. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite track from this new upcoming project? And then, what's your favorite track that you've worked on ever? Like oh. ever? Oh my. Uh, my favorite track on this upcoming project is called Cut My Losses. Um, it's actually my first time doing a full kind of uh, rap sing. Um, so it's my first time kind of diving into something a little bit different. So you got um, you got a second yeah, I just wanted to mess with a bunch of flavors on this project. So that would be my favorite from that project. Um, of all time. Oh my. Um, two okay, two <laughs> guitar. Um, no service from my first project, uh, or my second project, next verse. And um, Raymond. Raymond's a really good one. <laughs> yeah, right. So, you've done a lot, you do a lot as far as inspiring the ladies, as far as youth as a whole. You know, you said you gave us a backdrop, you made that decision when you were in high school that this is where I want to go. Talk to us about, talk to the youth more importantly about that struggle that comes with those bad days too and making that decision. Um, I think that the Overall, like people think that when you when you find what you want to do, it should be happening at a certain rate. Or you're on social media and you see all of these people achieving all these things at young ages. You know, some of them younger than you, maybe. You know, and you think, oh, I'm not moving fast enough. This is not happening fast enough. Um, every path is different. Your path is not going to be like the person you're following on Instagram. Um, and I think if you just take it one day at a time, you're going to have times where you're going to feel 
you're gonna feel down. You know, you're, you're maybe you're maybe comparing yourself to other people that you look up to, um, which is also something that you should work on. That's something that I had to work on uh, myself was the comparison game. Uh, growing up with social media, you're looking at a lot of things that you wish you had. Maybe uh, you know and. Um, Maybe you're not confident in who you are, maybe as an artist or whatever it is that you do. And so you're looking at people who are bigger in your field and um, you know, you're constantly looking at other people. So I think if you can find confidence in what you do, um, what makes you unique, and then um, just you know, capitalize on that. You know, Say, well, this is what makes me unique. Okay, how do I take this and make this my, maybe if you're an artist, make this my brand. You know, this is what's going to separate me from everybody else. And be comfortable with who you are, you know. You're the only you, and the person that you're following is the only them. So you can't be them, you know. And um, especially in a, a being an artist, that's sometimes very difficult because people people may be comparing you to other artists, you know, and you have to find what separates you and really uh, use that to your advantage. Right. Or it's original, I feel like dope. You know, like you and I don't like you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can be a backup dancer for the next show. Well, I can do my little doo-wop shoo Okay. I, I did have enough music to do. I can do that. I know it's up there. Excellent. Well, speaking of performances, let's get to it. Oh, yeah, so we got Maya, by name, with, you know who we got always on the show, Neo Groove. So that's it for this shift from Surrey Amazing. Thank you again for joining us live. And I uh, look forward to, to riding out real quick. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Shift. We're getting ready to jump right into a performance from Maya by Name and Neo Groove.
Shift up. Shift up.